So talk to me a little bit about fear and then kind of what gets you through it. How yeah. do you move through all this unknown? Right, right. So um, I grew up in a Christian family. And so I have this huge, I guess, bo- one way that I really live my life is like if I feel like God is putting a door or an opportunity in front of me, I always take it. Um, and I've been really good about that my whole life. So that I think is where most people feel like I'm more fearless than maybe someone that would, you know, hesitate or like reconsider taking a step of faith. Um, I'm, I'm more of like an opportunist in that way. And so it comes as a, you see it as a faith thing. I see it as a faith thing. So with spiritual discernment, like discerning when you feel the door is being opened for you, that mm. you're being led, spiritually God's leading you. How, right. What's your practice around that? How do you know? I don't know. <laughs> How do I know? I just, um, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, I, I feel like if this, for, okay, so for example, when you called me yesterday, <laughs> Because we had to cancel. Because right? you had to cancel. And you said... I was being an opportunist. <laughs> exactly. And being faithful. Right. Exactly. And that's one of the things where it's like, okay, if someone brings something to me um, and it sounds like, hey, why wouldn't you do this? I, I will always show up and say, yes, I will do that. And that goes for everything across the board. So if things are... Um, if people want to have meetings or people want to me to go to an event or people want me to speak, I'm always like, okay. Yes, I will do that. What I don't know what's going to come out of it. It'll put myself out there, but I'll learn from it at the very least. So it sounds so. like your faith right. and trust in the supernatural, in God, is like an advantage for you as a creator. Probably. Do you see it that way? I do see it that way, yeah. Yeah, because a lot of my friends and other colleagues are always like, well, you're really fearless and you kind of just go for things and you're not really worried about it. I'm like, well, even if I fail, I've learned and I just... Um, my other big thing is like with, with perseverance, even the snail made it to the ark. And snails are my favorite animals by a milestone. Um, they are? They are. Now, I how did snails. you and snails and the ark right. get together? <laughs> like God even had snails on the ark. Yes. Yeah. Snails have just been really, they're like, um, I guess it's like a call to God kiss where like you, you see an animal and you just are reminded that you're like, way smaller. Okay, call to God kiss. I have never heard those words together. Help me out, girlfriend. Okay. What's a call to God kiss? Well, you, it's called a God kiss. So it's just God saying kiss. like something that when you see it, you're reminded that oh. you're like not as... Okay, so my word is divine aha. Mm-hmm. Like this moment where you just like, like you're thinking, I'm thinking I'm driving the driving the car, right? Right. And then I have the divine aha and I go, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're not in control of the universe. Exactly.